Hi everyone, welcome to the Wheel Zone series. My name is Milou, I'm a marine biologist and guide in Terra Azul and in this series I'm answering your questions about whales, dolphins and marine life. And in this episode I'm going to answer the question what makes whales and dolphins stay closer inshore or stay further offshore? And be sure you stay until the end of the video because I'm going to give some tips on how you can reduce plastic. In general, whales and dolphins distribution is affected by environmental factors that can be either fixed or dynamic. The fixed factors are depth, which consists of the sunlight zone, twilight zone, midnight zone, abyssal zone and the trenches, or slopes, meaning where the continental shelf and continental break go into continental slope and into the deep sea. The dynamic factors, they can change with time and those are the sea surface temperature, upwelling currents, that means that deep cold nutrient rich water rises to the surface to replace warmer surface water. Oceanic fronts which is a boundary between two water masses that are moving in towards a different direction. The concentration of chlorophyll which increases the algal biomass in an area and affects the food chain and prey distribution. The prey distribution is what mainly affects the distribution of cetaceans as they are very sensitive to the quality and abundance of food. Different species and individuals may require different variables depending depending on the resources they require to survive and reproduce. And their habitat requirements may vary with age, sex and reproductive status. So the distance that whales and dolphins keep from shore can be linked to such preferences and requirements. For example, sperm whales are known to prefer deep water and steep slopes. Where squid, their preferred prey, are known to concentrate. So usually they are found at water at around a thousand meters depth. However, in some places in the world, these characteristics can be found quite close to the shore, like here in the Azores, where sperm whales have been found already 900 meters close to shore. The sea surface temperature can also affect the distribution of cetaceans, but more on the time scale. For example, here in the Azores, in summertime it is more likely to observe Atlantic spotted dolphins when the water temperature is higher, but however, in Scotland, in the Moray Firth, Minky whales tend to come closer to shore in the presence of warm currents, uh, which is speculated to increase a boost in phytoplankton and in turn that increases the, the zooplankton on which minky whales feed. Just like the sea surface temperature, upwelling currents and oceanic fronts may enhance the primary production by functioning as transporter of nutrients and eventually becoming mechanical barriers. This accumulates food and attract predators and in some places these currents and fronts occur more offshore and otherwise more nearshore. Other reasons include protection from predators as some baleen whales may choose nearshore patterns while migrating, especially when they have calves with them. And the spinner dolphins in Hawaii are known to stay in sheltered shallow beaches during the daytime while they are resting, while offshore waters are more suitable for feeding at night. Lastly, human activities like boat traffic may affect the presence of cetaceans and these activities when too intense and not regulated can cause displacement of cetaceans. Subscribe to get notified about new videos on whales, dolphins and marine life and if you want us to answer your question just check the links below and leave your comments. And of course it is important to keep the home of our marine life clean from trash that can disturb their habitat so as usual we are finishing this video with some tips on how to reduce plastic. Number one Give up bottled water and either refill it from a natural spring or drink from the tap. Number two, repair items when they break or reuse them for another purpose. Just be creative. Number three, make compost from your organic waste to save plastic bags for the bin. And number four, buy clothes from a recycled plastic fiber called Reprieve, like my Roxy shirty which is made out of 90 plastic bottles, so you can just look for brands who do the same thing. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!